terrifying set, no pun intended. Yeah, and Esam has been doing this for a hot minute. He is no stranger to this stage. He is no stranger to top eights, I'll no tell you sir. that. Neither no is Konga. Konga is a saddle staple here as well, and he's uh, arguably the best DK in Smash 4 and in Ultimate. Oh. Already there. Ooh. Oh my Combo goodness. breaker coming from Konga. I like that. Trying to attack on this damage really early. Oh, I don't yeah. big damage. blame him here on Konga. Konga is such a big body. Esam and his Pikachu, a phenomenal play style. He tries to attack on a lot of damage on the big bodies here. Yeah, see him trying to do that side, but he wants to ground him so he can get a combo off of it, but not going to work in the air. And that side B does have armor now, so you got to watch out when he lands. Oh, oh, yep. oh, almost armor through the aerial there. There is the down special, though. Yep. Not a good position here for Konga to be in. Has to figure out a way to stay nice. on stage as much nice as possible. Nice parry and punish Ooh. from Konga. The okay. down smash? <laughs> Taking the first stock here in this top eight. <laughs> Let's go. You know, he told me that was a bad move in this game because he's like, give me Brawl down smash, man. Come on, I missed that. And he just killed with it. Come on. <laughs> it, seems, it seems pretty good so far. That's right, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, though. Yeah. Up throw, goes for the backer, bit of a mix up there. That's Ooh, there's the parry right okay. in the middle. Dang. And if anybody I see, Kong is probably the best with the parry system so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this early in the game. Oh, almost gets the kill. But yeah, but this early in the game, being that good with parries is definitely strong. That's definitely some scary stuff to think about, especially as a heavy guy as well, too. But yeah. I will say that in this matchup, you're definitely going to have to have your parry game. Oh, oh right. no way. <laughs> Just he Come. read him. He is in his head. Charles, get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Professor X, I definitely think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, the parries. That makes that thing. That makes Another me. one. Dude, Konga, Konga is on one, dude. <laughs> Konga is popping up. Like, Yo, Rod is standing up. He's in shock how many parries he's gotten. <laughs> dude, if that makes Thunder Jolt invalidated if he does it that well. It makes a lot of his approaches invalidated. And like, what a character like Pikachu will do versus somebody like Donkey Kong is because this character can kill such absurdly, uh, you know, just low percents. Right. He has to use Thunder Jolt at times to get it. But if you got a guy who's going to parry oh, like Another this, one. What are you to do? Can we get a parry count? Like, <laughs> somebody. That's... That's kind of nuts. Yeah, very, very nutty. You can even tell like Esam is kind of like waiting for him to be in the air, so at least he doesn't have the parry option, right? Like Absolutely. He's just trying to get him in the air and fight him that way. Yes, you have to take full advantage of DK's disadvantageous positions when he does go for them. Right. Okay. Ooh. Another thunder jolt. A little late on the parry Ooh. there that time, and I think Enough. he actually expected him to roll, gentlemen. Right. All right, DK off stage. Let's see what Esam has, and yeah, so. You know, Kong has been complaining about the up B himself. Up B did actually get nerfed in this game, does not have involve on the very start, so it's very hard to drift with and very hard to, like, get back to stage because of that. Yes, right. there's those small nuances that really make all the difference in the matchup. When it's all said oh. and done, Ethan the... taking him for a trip right there. Oh my god, going way low for the Thunder, trying to edge guard him that, but still gets a good 42%. Another one! Another, Another one! one. <laughs> this guy is a parry god! That's right, man. He's in good business right here. Ends up wasting the punch a little bit earlier than expected, but then tries to use the down special here to give him some coverage. Oh, okay, first hit of air into the mutual air like that? That was really solid. And Esim has brought this all the oh, way back. Oh, no, so close. Oh, man, that mash out. That was fast. Okay, okay. try to bury him. Woo. Not that time. I like the good footwork. Wants to go for the trot in and out, but there's the dash attack once more. Kongo always stalling on his recovery. They're charging up his punch. That's so good. Yeah. All Actually, right. Oh, Kongo oh. down throw. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, barely doesn't make it. If he'd done it the uh, angle, he would have probably been able to come back to stage, actually. And, and that is the new juice of DK. Going off stage, doing cargo down throw, you know, that, that flex he has. Right. Because that sends him at such a horizontal angle, not only for gimping, but it does kill eventually. Right. So, right. Very solid. Great. One thing I noted uh, that Esam was doing at the end, he was waiting for the parry. He, like, waited for the parry down smash that Konga did, and he spaced outside of it, and then he was trying to punish that. So he's well aware that Konga's got the parries, and he's going to try to play around yeah, it now. Yeah, you got to watch out cause, because you can kind of autopilot your options out of parry. Since a lot of players have their go-tos, like I'm probably going to do a smash attack usually out of it. Right. It's not totally optimized yet, but we can definitely see Eason kind of like sniff it out. Right. Yeah, well, and, and not to harp too much on the whole parry system, but I feel like a move that is so telegraphed like a thunder duel, you can see it coming from like 15 miles away. Very it's true, really, very true. It's a really good way to get your parry game on par. For sure. For sure. Right, let's go ahead and jump right into game number two there. And not the best start there for Esam, but definitely looked like he was starting to figure it out towards the tail end. But this one's kind of starting out the way the last one did. Kanga just coming out swinging. This is a slugfest. Yeah, man. He's got the momentum at the start of these matches. Yeah, Kanga always winning these trades. That's kind of what big bodies have the luxury of. You have to, you have to whiff punish him, and Esam has the character to do it. For sure. Now, what we've seen Esam do yesterday, he'll like jump into the opponent, go for like drag down there, up tilt, drag down there, up tilt. You know, it looks like he was trying to start it up there just a moment ago, but it seems like Konga might have watched what Esam was doing, and he's just not allowing him to smother him for free anymore. Right, right. All right, covering his landing. Yeah, no platforms now. Okay, very much a different game here. Wow, the trade! Yeah, what a trade. <laughs> 
Okay, he's gonna go for the throw. Uh, throw. Oh, and he falls, and that was a really good bait. It looked like Isen was gonna go to the platform, but he just followed him all the way down there and then gets the down air for the KO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even the uh, tangibility on DK's arms is a little bit weaker too, so, you know, that trade was in Isen's favor. Oh, wait, no. He oh, no! Oh. oh, wait, no, did he save his life? Oh, wait, and no. then he got the tech right there from Isen. Beautiful save. Isen is living. <laughs> yeah, cargo down throw, flex on him, baby. Let's go. He's kidnapping him. Leave him alone. Woo! Okay, once more, another parry system right oh, no, here coming out so. from my man Konga. Okay. That time was faced the wrong way. It looks like he was looking for a throw that time. Right. Really good pressure uh, the way Esam does his forwarders. It's, it's hard to tell whether he's going to land in front of him or behind him. That's right. That's tough for Konga to uh, deal with. Absolutely. You, you can see Konga kind of go for the, you know, the grab out of shield. It's very nerfed in this game. You know, it's a lot, lot laggier, and it's hard to punish things. You have to more so do an aerial out of shield. Right. We have the luxury with everybody having the three-frame jump squad. That's very true. Right. Okay, goes for the short hop fair. Konga again once more finds himself off stage. What's he going to... Oh! The whiff punish. Yeah. The whiff punish. I right. like that attempt, though. I've, I see what Konga was going for, you know, looking for the down tilt to try to keep the pressure off him, but Isam just staying a step ahead of the competition always, man. The forward smash closing it out, moving into another game. Yeah, that low percent KO off the bottom of there was crucial for Isam. That gave him so much momentum. Yeah, definitely set the tone for the rest of that game. Yeah, yeah. It's still tripping me up. Town City, you know, the last game, used to kill so early, and now people just live in that stage. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. four, four years, and I was like, I'm like, yep, the low ceiling, and now we're just like, he actually lived? No way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the blast zones are a little bit different now. Dang. Yeah, the blast zones are, uh, blast zones are just vastly different. And, I, you know, I'm not complaining, you know. I, you know, that was one of the biggest reasons why we always went to uh, Battlefield all the time. It was not right. just because it was a tri but because the, the blast zones are so immense. Yeah, but I'd like absolutely. to see a little bit more town and city in this meta. For sure. Yeah, the platform placements on Town and City are so, so nice and no, fun to see. Yes, absolutely. Way different than the other ones. Okay. Oh. Short hop there. I think Konga tried to turn around there. It's a little bit harder with the buffer system to turn around this game, but Nissan will take full advantage of that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. The extension? Strong start here. Yes. Oh, that was a nice. good fake out. Made him think that he was actually going to land on the platform, goes right for the ledge. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like the dash out of the parry. Wow, that's really solid. Mm. And after just one throw, already oh, half of the way. Oh my god! The double parry this time goes for the one two jab. There's the up throw. Obviously, not going to be able to go for the upper that time, but at least he's sending him a message. Let him know you're going to have to be a little bit better on your uses of your tools, man. Oh, oh sit him down! Oh sit him my down! My god. Almost had to get out of my seat again, man. <laughs> another parry. Another one. Oh, oh wrong, wrong direction. Yeah. Trying to read the quick attack in front of him. Isam has been very tricky with his quick attacks, though. Kind of ambiguous where he's going to land. Okay, he gets the full charge. Back airs the Thunder Jolt, parries the other. There we go. Konga taking the lead on Isam. Can he keep it? Yeah, survivability is certainly the name of the game here. Now, obviously, Isam playing a character like Pikachu. Right. The combo system is definitely going to be there. But if, if Konga can figure out a way to just go for a few more grab conversions, he'll be sitting pretty. There's a back throw there. For sure. 64% is pretty good so far, man. Oh, and he air dodges out. All right, covering his landing. Yeah. He can't, can't land, gonna go off stage. I like the way that Isen is jumping, trying to bait out some kind of uh, defensive option from, from Konga and then punishing that, hopefully. That's right. But Konga's not biting. No, definitely not. There's the, oh my goodness. Oh boy. There is the down smash. I think he was looking to catch a roll. That covers a couple options off the ledge. Right. Oh, nice, man. okay. Down smash. I don't see the option quite yet either. Yeah. It's a lot of percent that he's tacking oh, on. Oh, that was free. Free. In the last game, that would have been free. This is a completely <laughs> different story here. Uh, he's looking for his shield grab. Isam definitely not giving it to him. Oh, oh, no. Not the drift. The drift. Why? Well, and you know why he had him shook right there? Because had he got back to the ledge and not snapped right away, he would have ate a forward smash. Right. But had he drifted too far back, Isam would have been able to get right on top of him and hit him with the dare. That's very true. So he was just really in a bad spot nonetheless. And he kind of had to put himself in a 50-50 moment. Oh, oh nice he smash. Bro he Ooh. broke out. He made the reverse. He broke out of it so <laughs> fast and gifted him for it. Oh my god, Esam. <laughs> the reverse? The reversal, man. Oh my. Don't kidnap this Pikachu. Oh, nice turnaround shield. Okay, trying to go for the mix up. Goes him into the stage that time. That was smart stuff. Oh. Neutral get a punch? Are you kidding me? God. He's a madman. <laughs> Kanga is outrageous, man. This man is a. Oh my god. Don't even know what to call him here at this point, man. <laughs> Nothing short of great, though, that's for sure. But you can't see Isam put Konga in so these checkmate situations. And that's the luxury of you know having that quick character. Okay. 
There's the back air. Really struggling to land here. anti air down smash? Yeah, that was some really interesting <laughs> stuff. No, the platforms are certainly out of the picture here, so Konga's going to struggle here to land. Here's Esam. Oh, doesn't quite get the edge guard, but he's still in a positive position. Oh, that guard. Anywhere. Nice recovery. Okay. It's Konga's chance. Oh, man, he goes for the hard read, but that platform on the left side. Giving Esam a lot of room. Esam oh, playing the keep away don't game. Play, here don't play point. his game. <laughs> Esam's playing the keep away game, using the Thunder Jolts, even though you know Konga's parry game has been very strong, and then using a lot of fall away aerials. I agree. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so far the bane is the Konga wants to autopilot his grab, you know, on a lot of these punishes, and it's 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 a very different game. That's mm -hmm. right. This is the parry that time. Playing it super safe. He knows that it's it's almost curtains for him. Oh Whoa! wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no, too slow. The yeah. immediate mash out. So much on the line really? here. There's the forwarder, but not Living. quite be enough. DK is such a big body. That was a very smart option oh, there for wow, Kongo wow. to use the e down special to give himself some coverage, but it still was not enough. Yeah, and he still cleans it up. And you can see Kongo living right there. You know, when you kind of like use directional air dodge to kind of like glide against the edge of the blast zone, you know, we kind of learned that, that that's how you live a little bit longer in the game. Even though the game says you might be dead, you know, that's a little bit of tech right there. That's right. All right, man. What a finish right there. These matches definitely going down to a bunch of nail-biting finishes, but Esam edges that one out. He goes up 2-1 on Konga. Ooh. I know Konga has a couple tricks left up his sleeve, so let's see what we get here for this next game. Same counter pick. Going into this game four. Oh. My god! <laughs> the double parry! Esam's going to have to rethink his approach options fresh out of the gate. Thunder Jill's not going to be enough to do it here. Okay, looking for the pivot grab. Good stuff. Oh, man, the, the Pikachu loops. Yeah, the classic. Yeah, man, Pika loops, man. Go ahead and get yourself a bowl. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, he, get, he does the aerials on shield and then drifts behind them, so it's very difficult for Konga to punish. Yeah, Especially with those multi-hits, too. And I think, yeah. you know, that we kind of the metagame, you know, you know, stopping the multi-hits a little bit sooner and kind of keeping guessing. That's right. right. He kind of has to just hold that. So if your parry game is nice, that's fine, but don't go for anything too crazy afterwards. Mm -hmm. Pikachu can certainly cross you up. Whew. Yeah. Okay, oh oh the my god. Oh, the that reap. Was, the pickup. Put him in the air. Oh, the side B actually to delay his fall. Very interesting. And then kept him uh, able to go to the ledge and then got him back to center stage. That was that was tricky for Esam. That's right. Nice preemptive upbeat from Konga. Esam using the up air through the ledge of the stage here to kind of get Konga off of him. Konga is so good at hugging the ledge of the stage. Oh, get out of my oh. face, man! Punched him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Up throw, up air. Why does Donkey Kong look so angry when he punches him, dude? <laughs> right, what's there to be angry about, man? Oh. Like, you've been in every Smash game. Yeah. You don't have any excuse to be upset, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Smash above DK. Another oh. one. Okay, trying to put him in the dirt there that time. Oh, oh no tech, boys. Yeah. It's a big miss tech. And, you know, on text in this game, if you see that red bubble now, you can't take it. If the knockback is too high, you cannot take it in this game. So they really want you to die off stage yeah, in they, this game. They, they want you to be deceased this go around. <laughs> no more crazy stuff. Okay, fall away. That was smart. Going for fall away forward here. Yeah. Got the fade out of option. Yeah, the fadebacks are really good, man. I really like Esam's on shield play. Absolutely. I can't imagine that was a miss input from Kongo, oh. but. <laughs> oh, and he waits for the down air. Esam. Esam moving and grooving here. For sure. Okay, oh, okay, that could have been a stage spike right there. Okay, this is coverage from Esam, man. And I think at this point, he's starting to throw out Thunder Jolt on purpose. I think the first few go rounds, he's like, okay, he's kind of parrying him. Yeah. It's really difficult to deal with, but now he realizes that he's always going to go for parry. And yeah. the minute he does it, I'm just going to jump right behind him and grab him. For sure. Like, even there when he got the parry, he was spaced far enough away to get, like, a forward smash outside the parry. Yeah. Like a parry hit, like forward tilt or something. Yeah. He, oh, wow, another one. Oh, okay. my goodness. <laughs> Konga doesn't care. He'll parry everything anyway. That's right. And then Rod going off of that too. You know, he's, oh, oh. Oh! No, they might not kill him, but still fancy enough. And does get the kill though. Sets up for the edge guard. Absolutely. And, and Rod, like you were saying, using Thunder Jolt is kind of a wait and see option. You know, almost like parry traps in a way. Like, yeah. I want you to parry because I want to you know, attack you afterwards. Yeah, that's right. It's like one safe option met with the even better safe option. Oh my oh, wow, god. The See you later. <laughs> what goes down must come up. I didn't know that's how that went. Maybe I slept right. during science class. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're, a you're a teacher, man. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe I'm teaching the wrong stuff. Is that how gravity works? I guess in this game, it most certainly does. 
Okay, a bit of platform pressure. Eason gets back down to the right side of the stage. Oh. Okay, some sharking from up underneath is some good stuff here. Yeah, the aerial tracking from Esim is really solid. Whenever Ant Congo goes to the left platform of the middle one, he's kind of just there, yeah. ready for a punish. Even reading the options, you know, kind of put like overshooting his aerials and whatnot. For sure. Esim playing one step ahead of Congo. Beautiful drift right there as he gets back to the ledge. Tosses yeah. out the back air. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you got it. You're going to have to tech, man. Esim is always looking for jab locks. Oh, oh he was the oh, oh, And he punched him in the yeah, face. Clap. Do the clap, man. KO. That is Conga's time. He is the leader of the bunch. <laughs> Let him know, Conga, why you're the leader of the DK crew himself here. Donkey Kong. Seattle knows him well. That's right. <laughs> okay. Conga going up 2-1 right now on Panda Global's very own ESAM. This is yeah. not the turnout I was expecting here, and that's no shot at Conga. I mean, I just if I was a betting man and I was in Las Vegas, of course, I'd have to, you know, put a little bit more money on ESAM. But Conga... He's working with that hometown buff. Mom gets here. What more do you That's really right, need, man? That's right, man. We got Mama. That's the ultimate assist. Yeah, Esam is seated number one in this tournament, and Konga is seated five. That's right. Oh, my God. This right, is not man. what most people expected. And this is only match one. We already got nail biters. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm happy. Oh, it's always this same stage, though. <laughs> We're going to play the whole set on this stage. Yeah, I, thought we could, I thought we got new stages to get away from Animal Crossing, man. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, regardless, man, we're moving into this next one, and uh, this is the final one here at that, too. Right. Uh, a lot really comes down to this. This is a winner's bracket life, at least for top eight here on the line for one of these two gentlemen. And Conga right now playing with the spirit of 10,000 Harambe's. I really got to give it to him, man. <laughs> I got to give it to him. Two for Harambe. R rest in peace. <laughs> okay, charges up the punch. Again, using that down special there to kind of keep Esam off of his trail. Right. Oh, set him Ooh. back on stage. Okay. Yeah, not what he wanted. My disadvantage is your advantage, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, going for the read that he's going to jump off the ledge. He has been doing a little bit. The pressure. Make him jump. Oh, he was looking for something. He was looking for pressure or looking for a jab lock moment right there. Regardless, though, not letting up here on Kongar for one moment. Taking oh. him off stage. Flex. Hit. All right. Kidnapping him. All right, Team Rocket. <laughs> another, another one. Another one. Oh, oh wow. Really? <laughs> Crowd coming alive. Can he get three in a row? I know the crowd's going to love it. Ooh, spot dodge to get out of the grab. He is loving these grabs. Ooh, that's not quite yet. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, nice. short hop there. Keeping him off the ledge. Obviously not quite enough to KO yet. Yeah, no no platform oh, here, so oh. the recovery a little bit harder. He had the read. He yeah. did. He most certainly had the read. And what was really good about that is that he didn't go for pivot grab that time. He actually just played with his back to him. Oh, sent him the wrong way. That would have probably KO'd. He's at such a high percent. Yeah, he's there out of go. here. There you go. Eventually, everything kills. That's right. right. <laughs> Sooner or later. Uh oh, he's about to do it to him. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a wow. minute. Wow. The mix up. Off Get the mixed. stage. <laughs> stage pike this Pikachu. Yeah, that was some. Uh, that's some very interesting stuff here. Kanga just always redefining the DK meta. Just when you thought you had this character figured out, Kanga brings something new to the table every time. Right. Okay, forward tilt. Okay. The weight. The yeah. weight. The, the weight is really important, man. Oh, okay. Oh, big damage. Ooh. Another one. I like, so see, Konga's also adapting back, where after the parry, he's shielded right away. Like, oh, is Esam going to punish my parry? Waiting for Esam to punish it, and then shielding after that. You right, think, I think, you think, yeah, I think. It's, yeah. too, it's right. too many levels, dude. This is week right, one, guys. The layers. This is week one of Ultimate. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, up on that top platform, and he's kind of stuck. Okay, saves his jump, goes for side special, drifts back. I love the movement. Oh. Nice, makes it back. Playing by the ledge. And I like even while he's dancing around, he gets a little bit of charge Whoa. every time on his B move. That's right. You got to keep the weapon on you, man. Yeah. See, again, that time parry roll. Now he's playing a little bit more defensive out his parries. No. Oh, wait at that time. Oh, oh. and he gets a... That's what happened last time! Oh. He's at low percent. He's going to get out of this grab. But that was so smart from Conga right there. I actually yeah. waited because he understood that, okay, Eastern's probably waiting for me to go for the immediate shield grab because obviously you can't quite do those as well anymore in Ultimate. Right. But I actually waited, hesitated, goes for the grab, but still puts himself in a bad spot. Eastern, one stock away here from closing oh. this thing out. Yeah, Eastern already fighting the counterplay to a lot of Conga stuff. Okay, okay. Everyone holds their breath. Oh, oh. my goodness. We are on last stock, ladies and gentlemen. Collapsed him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you can hear the chance for Conga, man. You yeah. can hear it. Seattle home turf. 
The Kronga Chance coming alive. There's oh. the Force Mask. He's out of a jump, unfortunately. That's a big Thunder Jolt. Oh, oh that Thunder uh, Jolt yeah. was so crucial again, that Forward Smash. Mm -hmm. Couldn't you quite out You can see East Ham sigh re some relief. He's <laughs> like, oh, man, so close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still giving up, giving up for their boy, Kong.